What's going on, everybody? This is Ray Hayes coming to you once again uh, with a mini podcast from Supplier T News. I uh, hope everyone's having a good week. Uh, happy holidays to everyone. I hope everyone enjoyed the 4th of July. Good barbecue. Hopefully, you didn't eat too much. I mean, you probably, if you did, hopefully, you hit in the gym or on your walk trying to get some of that food down from the holidays. But hope everyone had a good one. Uh, today, like I said, once again, I'm coming to you with the mini podcast. And today, I wanted to talk about uh, the Chicago Public School announcement that uh, high school students would be re- required to create a plan for their future in order to graduate. Or basically, to in order to receive their high school diploma, uh, Mayor Emanuel uh, recently appeared on uh, CBS this morning to discuss his new proposal. Uh, and like I said, it requires students to develop a post high school plan before receiving a diploma. Uh, I would like to first start off and uh, applaud applaud Mayor Mayor uh, Emanuel. The initiative it's, it 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 sounds good. Uh, it, it it not only makes these young children is going about develop a plan a four year plan because I mean you have the whole four years of high school to develop this plan but you have that four year plan to figuring out what you want to do now you may not be your, your decision may not be grounded you may change your decision uh, after your high school career but at least you have an idea and for some students they just they they need that idea because they don't they do not have that opportunity or their parents aren't pushing them to create such a plan uh, only thing they're worried about is either them just getting through college i mean high school and getting a high school diploma and going who anywhere who knows but just get a job or if not just go to college but if you're in have this four-year program or initiative where you're developing a four-year plan and how you plan to go into the field of technology or how you plan to uh, get into Howard or Harvard or Yale at least you have that plan at least you have your mindset on accomplishing a goal Uh, the the thing that I uh, am kind of skeptical about this plan is, okay, yes, we have these kids do this. We have them develop a four-year plan or a plan to, okay, this is what I plan to do out of the high school. If that's the case, these children will need the, will need resources. Uh, first off, they will need qualified guidance counselors and guidance counselors who give basically a damn about them who are willing to sit down and help them not just okay you need to go are you going to college okay let me sign off on this paperwork no the guidance counselors have to be committed and they have to be skilled and trained to accomplish I mean well or go about assessing these issues with these students and actually being honest with them, being honest, but also providing them with the necessary tools to obtain their goals at the college. I mean, at the high school, I keep saying college, but at the high school. So it's not a matter of just the the the, the counselors just in, who are in the schools now. Yes, they may be doing just fine, but you have to retrain them. You have to prepare them for for this new role. That will go into place if 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 uh, pass or because right now it's just a proposal. If pass next year, because under the proposal, all public school students will be starting the, the all public all Chicago public school students starting with this year's freshman class will have to show an acceptance letter to a four year university or co- I mean or community college or trade school. And if you throw in a trade school piece in that too, you have to have tradesmen come in or journeymen come in and talk to these young children about the opportunity in the trades so you should have plumbers coming in to speak to these kids or giving them practical information and also explaining to them hey this is what the plumber job consists of this is the pay these are the skills you would need and this is how you apply for the job 
that all has to be delivered to these students. And and it should be delivered to them during their freshman year. You should have multiple people coming in, speaking to them, but also providing these students with internships or apprenticeships to go into these fields. So not only should they be worrying about this after their four years, during their first year, if they say I have an interest in becoming a plumber or interest in becoming an engineer, with the resources the Chicago Public School have or Mayor Emanuel has, maybe set these children up with an internship. Now, it doesn't have to be for the whole summer. It can be a few weeks. But allow them to get practical knowledge and to see the rigors of the job. Because if they see head, hands on what the, what the job consists of, they'll have a better understanding if that job is for them. So, like I said, they would, y- you can't just implement this program without having initiatives, and, well, services, or people backing the program. My other problem, is, my other, my, my, my skepticism comes from the fact that Chicago public schools are, they're in need of funds. Recently, this uh, Mayor Emanuel took out a loan of $387 million uh, just for the public schools can stay open this past year. So, with that being said, my question is, where are the resources going to come from? Where are the funds going to come from? If they're all, the public school system is already struggling. Where are the funds come from? Now, hopefully, you have outside donors who will invest in this initiative, invest in the new initiative, or also, or give these kids opportunity to meet different people that these maybe outside donors may have. Or you have, for instance, if children want to go into the the field of uh, the music music industry. You have people like Chance Rapper who possibly help them. So I hope they 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 use their network wisely because there are tons of people who are graduated from the Chicago Public School System who are doing great things throughout the throughout the world. So I hope they speak to those people and go about asking them to come in. You have your Jennifer Hudson's, your uh, Chance the Rappers. Kanye West. You have a lot of people. Like I'm just talking about the music industry right now, but you have these pe- the people there who can assist these children. So I hope they're using their resources wisely. Uh, but overall, I-, I think this is a a good initiative. I think some good can come of it. Uh, I'm not sure how it would necessarily curve the violence, but it would curve the students' mindsets. And not only should it be initiated within the Chicago public school system, I I would go on a step further and say that charter schools should think about this as well. Because you still have those students who are lackadaisical and are just naive to believe that they're going to have a job right out of high school or, or when it comes to college. Give them the preparation they need or have them understand, okay, you 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 have to do something after you leave this building. You can't just l- live at your mom's house all the time. You have to do something. And not only teaching them to go into these fields, but teach them how to be entrepreneurs and business owners. That's the main key to to bridge the wedge gaps. Wait, I mean wealth gaps. Teach them how to be entrepreneurs and business owners that would be key to developing and changing tons of of young people's lives Uh, but like I said I applaud Mary Emanuel for the new initiative Uh, I, I, I mean I hope and I hope to see more information about it and how the funds where they will where would they be getting the funds from and uh just how do they plan to initiate it? 
what are the resources? I mean, I'm definitely open to if they had a GoFundMe page or something like, hey, just hey, you want to help out with the new initiative? Can you want to fund the new initiative? I'm willing to do it because I'm willing to see these kids have an opportunity. I know when in college at Morehouse, we all they always talked about the, what is your four year plan? If you get that. And I wish I took it more serious than what I did. I wish I really wish I took it serious because that can that can give you an idea on a career path and what and basically just a better understanding of what you want to do and who you are. So I I definitely like I said I, I hope that this tip goes through. I hope uh, to see more information about it. And uh, I, I'm. I'm as bad as a rap mayor Manuel gets, he's trying. I'll give him that. He's definitely trying. I mean, tons of people, I mean, tons of mayors in particular, they don't have to do this. But you can see, I mean, there's, I mean, there, I understand there's a motive behind it as well, but I, he is a plot. He's, Mayor Emanuel is is definitely trying with the, the with the building rebuilding Chicago and the infrastructure, and giving people not giving people but people have an opportunity to work for the city government, for these uh high paying jobs. There's tons of opportunities, and under his his tenelage as a mayor, he's uh he's definitely increased these these opportunities. So uh, D- D- Mayor Emanuel, thank you. Uh, hopefully this initiative takes place in other cities as well too uh, with that being said I want to thank you all for hanging in there with me for the mini podcast uh, you can follow us Supplier T News at Twitter our Twitter name is at GDN Network you can follow us on Facebook also at Supplier T News uh, if you're interested in Small business news, diversity, anything going on in the field of diversity, veteran affairs. We we all have we we have all that information for you on www.suppliertnews.com. We have daily articles that provides information for everyone, no matter who you are. So please check us out. Uh, hope everyone has a good rest of the week, and thank you. <laughs>